Hi, my name is Mark Gilanov, and I'm a heart surgeon at the Cleveland Clinic. I've been in practice at the Cleveland Clinic for 15 years, and over that time I've done about 6,000 heart operations, though in the last few years, 99% of my practice is heart valve surgery. Hi everybody, it's Adam with heartvalvesurgery.com. Thrilled to be here with Dr. Mark Gilanov. And Dr. Gilanov, can you share with us what attracted you to pursuing cardiac surgery as your career? It's a very personal thing for me. When I was 16 years old, my dad had heart surgery. I decided to deal with this, I'm going to get a job in heart surgery. I couldn't do heart surgery at the age of 16, of course. The first time I actually saw real life heart surgery, it absolutely blew me away. I thought that is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. I've got to learn how to do it. So Dr. Gilanoff, can you share with us what is aortic stenosis? Aortic stenosis is a condition in which the aortic valve is narrowed. You can think of the aortic valve as the door between the heart and the rest of the body. Every drop of blood your heart pumps has to pass through the aortic valve. Now shut that door halfway. You block the flow of blood. Blocking that flow of blood with a narrowed aortic valve, that's aortic stenosis. What causes aortic stenosis? There are two big categories. The first, people who are born with what we call a bicuspid valve, meaning their aortic valve has two, that's the bicusps, two parts. Bicuspid valves over time wear out and often become narrowed or stenotic. Then there are the people who have what we call a normal valve. They're born with a tricuspid or three leaflet valve. Their valves over time become stiff and covered with calcium. We're not exactly sure what causes that, but we do know how to fix it. Can aortic stenosis be harmful to the patient? Aortic stenosis is fatal. I'm gonna repeat that because that's really important. If untreated, aortic stenosis is fatal. If you have severe aortic stenosis, surgery will save your life. Does aortic stenosis progress fast or slow? In most people, aortic stenosis progresses relatively slowly. The area of the valve will decrease by about a tenth of a square centimeter per year. However, when someone gets to an area, a valve area of one square centimeter or less, that's when you start thinking of surgery. If your valve area is 1.7, 1.8 square centimeters, you've got a few years. Dr. Gilanov, what is your best piece of advice for someone who has received the diagnosis that they have aortic stenosis? I have three things to tell the person who has aortic stenosis. Number one, get an echo every year. You don't want to lose track of it. Even though you feel fine, get an echo on it a year. Point number two, when your aortic valve area gets so small that you have what we call severe or critical aortic stenosis, it's time for surgery. Don't put it off. Point number three, when you come to surgery, you choose your type of valve. Many times a surgeon will tell the patient, you're young, you get a mechanical valve. You're old, you get a tissue valve. The real choice is up to the patient. You should get the valve that fits you and your lifestyle. It's your choice.